celebrity audience. Um, we're here with the guys. If you guys went back, I did a video a few months back, and it was about um, how the police officers were lying during the riots in, um, in Baltimore. The Crips, the Bloods, the Black Gorilla Family. These are three violent, organized gangs, all now reportedly working together to kill cops. How they were saying that, you know, the gang members were plotting on the police and all that stuff. And I did the video and I had the clip in there of Love from Athens Park. Well, we got the fellas here who were involved in all that, so they wanted to come and talk to our audience. Absolutely. All right, if you could just introduce yourself. Okay, my name is Orlando Gill, y'all. Everybody call me Magic. I'm from Baltimore City. I'm a Baltimore artist and activist. There we go. And why are you guys here? What brought you We're here, here because we represent the unif unification of the street the street orgs. Bloods, Crips, BGF, GDs. We all out here. We got our brothers over here by the gate. And we just coming out here to show everybody that it's unity, man. We ain't stop when the police try to uh, uh, smash our character and say we try to band together and combat the police. That was not what our movement was about. Our movement is strictly about unity. And that's what we standing for right now. Right. So now what do you say to the people? Because there's a lot of comments like, okay, well, they're gangbangers, they're thugs. You know, what do you say to people who feel like y'all can't change? Because we all make mistakes, so why can't we change? Exactly, and, that, and, that's, and that's just it. Why can't we change? You know, everybody... Everybody goes through hurdles in their life that they had to jump over. Some people stay on one side of the fence and some people jump over that hurdle. We just we just happen to be those ones who jump that hurdle. And we not we not we not we not, we not content with staying with our current with our uh, previous positions in our life. We trying to prosper, we're trying to be better and show the world that we can we can make a change and we can be a big part of the change. You know? And that's what we're trying to do right now. Now, now let me ask you a question. How did, how did it feel to be targeted by the mainstream media and potentially being viewed as something that you weren't even trying to do because you know it takes us a little lie yeah. to lock us up, kill us, right. castrate us anything. Right. I mean, how, how did you feel? Because when I when I saw them do that and I researched into it, right. you know, I said, wait a minute, I'm sorry. If they were doing that, I would right. say, okay, that's what they're doing. Right. But if they're not doing it, don't be sitting there lying on right. like, How did you feel about that? Man, it, like, I, like my brother just said, we from Baltimore. We, we, we used to the finger pull and we have no fear whatsoever. You know, and we did the truce. I made a, uh, actually when they put the, when they put the statement out saying that we was coming together to combat the police, I made a 15, I made a, like a fit, I was on my 15 minute break at work and I just made a video rant. And I did not think it was going to do what it did, you know, so it went viral and it just brought a lot of attention to the situation, a lot of attention to the truce itself. So at that point, it was our obligation to stick with that and make it stronger and show these people that we were not, we were not joking. We were not just doing this for the cameras because the cameras were in the city at, real heavy at the moment. We, we did this because this was really was in our hearts and this really what God chose us to do right now. We are the Joshua generation and we are the leaders right now. We feel like we the leaders of this generation right now. We gotta show everybody that. Right. Now I appreciate that and that's why it's so important, you know what I'm saying, to do research and not just believe everything that the mainstream media says. Absolutely. Because if we ran with what the mainstream media says, then you know, we wouldn't look back. That's why I felt like, okay, once we, once I found out myself right. and realized they were lying, that's why I took time out to put that video together. Yeah. And I'm glad you guys ran across it because it's important that we as black people, since we have a platform, right. we support each other. Right. Because so many times mm -hmm. we want to get on YouTube and coon and climb, but sometimes you have to, you know, bring the realness and let people know what's going on. Right. Yeah. And the federal, and, and the federal, the federal actually did do an investigation on those so-called sources that they said they had that were credible, mm -hmm. that were saying that we were trying to do these things. And the federal agents, they just shut the whole rumor mill down, you know, because Good. it wasn't true from the beginning, okay. you know. So that's what we here right now. We're here to just show that it's justice or else, and we're standing on the same thing we stood on from the beginning. All right, good. Well, thank All right, you so much. Keep doing no good work, bro. No Look, problem. A lot of brothers yeah. will listen to you more than they listen to me. And, I, and that's cool. <laughs> everybody everybody got to play their position. Yeah, yeah. You know? As long as the message get out. Absolutely. 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 Thank you. Good to meet you. Glad to hear, brother. Yeah, for sure. Glad to hear. Absolutely. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.